Hey you guys, appreciate your time spent in understanding these concepts. This will really help in deploying our front hall router in your customer's network. I'm guessing you have come here after watching the first two videos of this series. Here we will spend some time on understanding sampling frequency and sampling intervals. Now at front hall to recover the entire data transmitted, the receiver must take n FFT samples per OFDM symbol. The base channel bandwidth considered for LTE is 2.5 MHz. Now to recover this data which is sent as IQ bit stream using SIPCRI at front hall, the receiver must take n FFT equals to 256 samples per OFDM symbol. Now at what rate do we need to sample this data? This gives us two terms. The sampling interval or TS which is 1 by FS and equal to 260.416 nanosecond and the sampling frequency or FS which is 1 by TS and equals to 3.84 MHz. These two are very important numbers so keep them in your head. The 3.84 MHz sampling frequency defines the main clock for SIPRI framing which is oversampled to obtain timing references for other LTE channel bandwidths. On the other hand, one SIPRI basic frame is generated every 1 by FC equals to 260.416 nanosecond. This basic frame is used to carry the sampled and digitized OFDM symbols. So we discussed sampling frequency of 2.5 MHz channel bandwidth, which is 15 times the number of FFT samples required for that channel bandwidth. Here is a table which gives you sampling frequency of all the LT channel bandwidths calculated in a similar way. So the sampling frequency for 1.25 MHz channel is 1.92 MHz. For 5 MHz channel, it is 7.68 MHz. For 10 MHz channel, it is 15.36 MHz. For 15 MHz channel, it is 23.04 MHz. And finally, for 20 MHz channel, it is 30.72 MHz. So we are good. Let's move on. Now, as we had learned in the first video, the frontal bandwidth is deduced from the user plane data carried in SIPRI. This user plane data is transported in the form of one or many in-phase and quadrature data flows. Each IQ data flow reflects the radio signal sampled and digitized of one carrier at one independent antenna element. And we call this antenna carrier and represent this as AXC. In LTE, an AXC is essentially one or more IQ samples for the duration of one UMTS chip. TS is equal to 1 by FC is equal to 260.416 nanosecond. Now, the amount of information present in an AXE is dependent on two things. First, sampling frequency, which is FC equals to 3.84 MHz, as you guys had noted it earlier. Second, the number of bits M used in the quantization process of the I and Q radio signals. In most SIPRI FPGA implementation, we use M equals to 15 bits for maximum capacity efficiency, which means one AXE is equal to 15 bits for I and 15 bits for Q and IQ becomes 30 bits. Now that is another important data point to make a note of. The IQ bits in serial fashion are sent like this, as I show you on my screen right now. Now for SIPRI, one basic frame, as you know by now, is created and transmitted every TC or 260.416 nanosecond. And this is constant for all SIPRI line bitrate options. This means, for a channel bandwidth of 2.5 MHz, we need to take one sample to recover data from a basic frame. For, my me for 5 MHz, we will need two samples. For 10 MHz, we will need four samples. For 15 MHz, we'll need six samples. And finally, for 20 MHz, we'll need to take eight samples of the IQ data. With these critical information, I will end this video and I will see you in the next one.